Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Colette Stinger. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. A beloved Bay City community member has died after a battle with COVID-19. Terry Watson was a former Bay City police officer, Bangor Township supervisor, and former president of the fireworks extravaganza. Watson's family tells TV5 that a celebration of his life will be held closer to his favorite holiday. That's the 4th of July next year. Well, sheriff's deputies are looking for a driver after a hit and run in Bay County over the weekend. It happened Saturday morning around 1.30. Now, deputies say a small black vehicle driven by a woman stopped abruptly. Now, that caused a man on a motorcycle behind her to rear in her vehicle. The man had significant injuries and was taken to the hospital for treatment. Investigators say the woman told the man that she was going to get help, drove away, and she never came back. The vehicle had heavy damage to the tail light and the rear bumper was hanging off the vehicle. If you have any information, please call the Bay County Sheriff's Office. In the city of Flint, police are searching for the person or persons who shot three men. Officers were called to Hurley Medical Center where three men were suffering from gunshot wounds on Saturday. Two are in critical condition, the other in good condition. The shooting happened around 2.45 a.m. near Welch Boulevard and Chevrolet Avenue. Officers have not identified any suspects. Now here's Chris with a look at your forecast. Other Colette, it looks like a beautiful day today. We've got low to mid 70s for high temperatures later this afternoon. Could see a few records fall and uh, we'll keep our eyes on that. If that happens, we'll let you know. Otherwise, temperatures are expected to be warm tomorrow and then eventually cool down on Wednesday. So enjoy while we have it. We should be dry largely through today and through tomorrow. A few passing clouds here and there, but mostly sunny skies generally taking over as we go through much of today. We'll have a few showers that try to get going tomorrow morning, but I think some dry air will fight those off. So I'm expecting the first part of the day to be dry. As we head towards the evening hours, you see the showers get closer to us. They could arrive along US 127 around 10 or 11 o'clock and then gradually spread eastward throughout the night. Those showers may have a few rumbles of thunder and some strong winds with them as they pass through, but no severe weather is expected at this time. Now, as far as your extended forecast into the weekend, it appears Friday will have a chance for a few showers to move overhead. Whether or not they reach the ground or not, still up for debate. I think we'll have a chance to keep things dry just because of a beautiful day we expect on Thursday. As we head towards the weekend, Saturday will start dry. Some clouds will increase throughout the day, but still expecting things to be dry most of your Saturday. And then as we go into Saturday night and Sunday, that's when we expect the showers to really return. Best chance of rain over the weekend is going to be on Sunday. Your seven day forecast shows much of this week will be dry once again and even Tuesday. Remember, even if it says 60%, that's not until very late in the day and into Wednesday morning. Take a look at the rest of your forecast on the news at nine. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 seven for the latest news, weather and information.